It is said when chaos reigned long ago, a cloaked man appeared and began walking the ravaged earth. This man, now named the Wanderer, carried with him a book that contained great and boundless secrets. After the Wanderer's arrival, civilization flourished and the clans raised flags bearing his symbol of unity. Peace reigned for many years throughout the land. The Wanderer, believing that his peaceful teachings were concluded, gathered the clan together, transformed his book and disappeared. The clan member's shock expired as quickly as the Wanderer's word and the clans returned to their brutal practices. Pandemonium grew the bloodland as unity and alliance were substituted with greed and malevolence. Complete annihilation was inevitable. In the midst of one of the most bloody battles, a blinding flash suddenly suspended all warfare. In the center of this explosive light stood the cloaked figure of a woman. All were stunned as the woman held the almost forgotten symbol of unity high for all to see. It was then that the clan leaders were gathered and instructed to present their invaluable scrolls. Those who were present at this gathering have related a strange tale filled with inexplicable power. A tale that is only concluded when the woman magically turned the scrolls into inscripted swords. This woman is Sin. Let the grand tournament begin. And preparation for the grand tournament began as the contestants were ready for combat. Each fought to the death until only one was triumphant. This champion rose to Sin's temple to claim his right to rule the Bloodland. He was never again to be seen. seen for decades. Only a distant glowing light from her temple betrays her presence. The weapons of Trinity await a new champion. The time for a 